In this tutorial, we'll show you how to integrate WS Form with the Pods plugin. Pods is a plugin that allows you to create custom fields, post types, and taxonomies. By using WS Form, you can develop powerful, mobile friendly forms that have any layout. In this tutorial, we're going to create a form that will create a new blog post when it is submitted. These same instructions can be used to create any other post such as a page or a custom post type. First, we're going to create some custom fields that will appear when we edit a post in WordPress. Here, we can choose from various different field types that Pods offers. Next we're going to create a form in WS Form. To do this, we click on Add New in the WS Form menu. Because we have the Post Management add-on installed, you'll see that we have a Post Management tab. If we click on that tab, it will show us templates for each post type registered in WordPress. We're going to choose the Post Template. After you click on a template, WS Form automatically creates a form for you. At the top of the form is a section that includes standard fields we would expect to see for a post, such as the title, content, and excerpt. In addition to that, it has created sections and fields for all of the custom fields that we created with pods. You can edit the form in exactly the same way as you would any other form. For example, you can resize fields, resize sections, and even split the form up across multiple tabs. All of the functionality of the WS Form Layout Editor is available to you. Fields such as selects, checkboxes, and radios pull their choices dynamically from pods. This means that if you change a choice in pods, it will automatically update on your form. Likewise, relational fields in pods that are configured to use posts or users are also updated dynamically. Now, let's test the form. To do that, we simply click the Preview button. You'll notice in our preview window that we have the WS Form Debug Console open. This is a really great feature for testing forms and allows you to populate a form in a single click. Every time you click Populate, the form is populated with different data. There's even a Populate and Submit button which lets you populate the form with data and submit it. Now that the form is submitted, Let's take a look at how that looks in WordPress. First, we'll click back to the WordPress admin. Then, we'll click on Posts in the WordPress menu. And there is our new post that was created by WS Form. If we click on the post, we can see that the post title, excerpt, and content have been populated from the form. Below that, you can see the custom fields created in pods that have also been populated. In addition to creating posts, WS Form can also pre-populate forms using Pods custom fields. To demonstrate this, we'll go back to the layout editor for the form we just created. Next, we click on the Form Settings icon at the top of the layout editor. Then, we click on the Data tab. From here, we configure WS Form to populate the form using the data from an existing WordPress post. In this example, we'll set WS Form to use the ID of the post we just created. Below that, you will find the field mappings. These allow you to specify which post and pods fields will be mapped to which WS Form field. You'll notice that because we created this form from a template, all of the fields are already mapped for us. So all we need to do is click Save and Close. Then we click Preview to view the form. The form has been populated with the data from the post and is ready for editing. And that's how easy it is to integrate WS Form with Pods.